How to make Frito pie. Frito pies were invented by the Texas based Frito Corporation, but adored throughout the southwestern U.S. You can use your favorite chili recipe, or take this example of a classic Texas red chili. Ingredients Baked Frito pie or walking tacos. 3 cups Frito chips, one large bag, or one small bag per person. 1 half yellow onion, diced. 1 cup 240 milliliters sour cream. 1 cup grated cheddar cheese. 116 Oz 450 grams can chili or homemade chili below. 1 fresh tomato, diced or 1 half can diced tomato optional. 1 third head lettuce, shredded optional. Texas red chili. 3 dried chipotle chili peppers. 4 dried ancho chili peppers. 2 pounds 0.9 kilograms ground chuck. 1 yellow onion, diced. 2.5 cups 950 milliliters chicken or beef stock. 12 ounces 350 milliliters beer. 1 tablespoon 15 milliliters cumin. 1.5 tablespoons 22 milliliters corn flour, masa, pepper and salt. Method 1. Easy baked Frito pie. 1. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit 177 degrees Celsius. Now's a good time to dice the onions, while you wait. 2. Spread most of the Fritos in a baking dish. Use two-thirds of the Fritos, or enough to cover the whole pan. Save the rest for the topping. 3. Cover with chili. You can use any kind of canned chili, or make your own using the recipe below. Optionally, add diced tomatoes, canned or fresh. 4. Bake for 15 minutes. Once your oven is preheated, put the casserole dish in the oven. Leave it for about 15 minutes, until the chili is hot. For an even easier recipe, add all the ingredients on top of the chili and bake in one sitting. 5. Top with other ingredients. Spread a layer of sour cream over the chili with a spoon. Top with the diced onion, the rest of the Fritos, and the grated cheese. The Fritos on top will stay much crunchier than the Fritos at the bottom of the pan. Optionally, sprinkle the sour cream layer with shredded lettuce for a fresher taste. 6. Bake for another 5 minutes. Return to the oven and bake a few minutes longer, until the cheese is melted. Serve hot. Method 2. Walking tacos. 1. Heat chili on the stove. Pour the can of chili into a pan over medium heat. Cover and let warm, stirring occasionally. You can make homemade chili instead, or use the recipe below. For more flavor, add diced tomatoes and or canned beans if the canned chili does not include them. Most Texan chili skips both of these ingredients. 2. Slit open the side of each Frito bag. A walking taco is a Frito pie served in the Frito bag instead of a bowl. Each person gets one Frito bag. Cut each bag open along the side instead of the top to make a larger opening. 3. Spoon chili and cheese into each bag. Spoon the chili directly into the Frito bag, then top with melted cheese. You can leave this as is to keep the chips crunchy, or stir it together for a delicious mess. Diced onions and sour cream are optional toppings. If you want room for more chili, crush some of the chips first by squeezing the bag. Method 3. Texas Red Chili. 1. Cut and toast the dried chili peppers. Slice open the peppers and remove the seeds, stem, and white inner flesh. Heat a dry skillet and toast the peppers for about 30 seconds on each side, until dark spots begin to appear. You can skip this step and use chili powder instead, but whole dried chili peppers give a much better flavor. Do not touch your eyes until you've washed your hands thoroughly. Wear gloves if you have sensitive skin. If you like extra spicy, chili, set aside some of the seeds and add them once the chili is cooking. 2. Soak the peppers in hot water. Submerge in 1 cup 240 milliliters of hot water, not boiling water, for 5 to 10 minutes. Puree the peppers and water in a blender and set them aside for now. If you think you'll use them again, you can make a large batch in advance. 
For maximum flavor, soak for 30 minutes and simmer in oil, covered, for another 20 minutes. 3. Brown ground chuck in a large frying pan. Add the beef to a hot frying pan and cook until brown. Stir occasionally and break it into even sized pieces with a wooden spoon. For best results, brown in small batches, so most of the beef can touch the pan surface. This will take a few minutes per batch. Use a nonstick pan, or nonstick, cooking spray. 4. Cook the onions until translucent. Add the diced onions to the hot pan and cook until translucent, about 5 minutes. 5. Combine chili ingredients in a large saucepan. Combine chili pepper puree, beef, and onions in a large pot. The larger and heavier the pot, the better the meat texture will be. Add the chicken or beef stock, beer, cumin, a grind of pepper, and several pinches of salt. If food has stuck to the frying pan, deglaze it with some of the stock and add it to the chili. Red ale or stout is a good choice. Replace with more stock for a non-alcoholic version, otherwise, about 25% of the alcohol will remain. 6. Simmer until the meat is tender. Bring to a boil, then simmer uncovered until the meat is tender and the chili is thick, 45 to 60 minutes. Stir occasionally. For extra flavor, instead cover with a slightly ajar lid and cook for up to 3 hours. 7. Mix in corn flour paste, optional. This makes a thicker, less greasy chili. Add the corn flour to a bowl and spoon in some of the chili broth. Stir until it forms a paste, then pour it into the chili. Stir until thoroughly combined. 8. Adjust spices and serve. Taste the chili. Add more salt, pepper, or cumin if desired. Let it sit off the heat to absorb more flavor and cool enough to eat. Serve with fritos and grated cheese. Squeeze a lime over it for extra flavor. For sweet chili, stir in 1 tablespoon 15 milliliters brown sugar and 1 tablespoon 15 milliliters white vinegar, then let simmer another 10 minutes. 9. Finished. Tips. Add spices or other ingredients to customize the recipe, or follow a different chili recipe. You can use any type of chili pepper you like. For best results, combine two or more peppers with different flavors. Try a smoky chipotle or guajillo with a fruity ancho or pasillo, and an extra hot pequin or arbol. Warnings. In the UK and some other regions, corn starch is sold as cornflour. You need actual flour made from corn for this recipe.